On our planet, hundreds of species of animal, plant, and insect life are delicious. It is a certainty that hundreds of thousands have developed species of life. Okay, Star Wars is officially out of ideas. Ah, the dark! That's my favorite thing to potentially be afraid of on Nickelodeon. Cinematography by a guy who sat on the remote and accidentally turned the contrast all the way down. <laughs> the mean streets of... Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure. You're not sure where it is? Uh, I'm not sure if these are streets. Are those cars? Uh, uh, what the hell are we looking at here? Ugly, hairy, willing to lie to Columbo, you might be a generic 70s guy. And generic 70s ladies. Big hair, flat butt, inexplicably attracted to Columbo, you might be a generic 70s lady. Yeah, Panavision, you might not want to advertise that. Huh? Achieve that dubbed Max L VHS cassette look with Panavision. God damn, I was hoping the music was by the guy who sat on the remote and accidentally turned the contrast all the way down. Man, the ego on that guy. <laughs> Jim Packer, really arrogant fellow. <laughs> yeah, one showing a solo in the theater decided it had had enough. I wish other movies just whispered their titles at characters. Ballistic X versus Seven. <laughs> the Ragnarok. Newsy. The Englishman who went up a hill but came down a mountain. Just put the lens cap on. You know you want to. I'm pretty sure it's been left on a couple of times already. No, I can't see anything, and this movie is still better than The Dark Tower. <laughs> Can I interest you in a free personality test? All right, should we spend our budget on a lighting crew or rent a party yacht? Oh, yeah. Yacht. Yeah. Hey, okay, yacht it is. Call me Saturday. I'm up next on the poll. You think I can get you a job in films? No. I'm only... Phew. I thought she was about to get all Weinstein-y. Go away from me. No. <laughs> Sounds like me during Salvation Army Santa season. <laughs> What are you doing here? You're on your lunch break. Yeah, Arby's banned me for eating in the can. You didn't expect it to be easy, did you? I mean, really? The makers of Battletoads said the same thing. <laughs> Operator, will you get off the line? This is an emergency. I'm sorry, sir. Your time is up. That exchange may as well be science fiction to anyone under 25. <laughs> Okay, you the guys who want to buy the foot? What? what? Nothing. Kidding. No one oh. wants to do that. Mm, so he died when his wiener got caught in the rat trap, huh? No, that was unrelated. Ooh. I'm sorry. Sorry. I know hairballs can be very unpleasant. Pretty gnarly, huh? We'll catch the hippo who sat on him. Dr. Robinson, report to pathology. You two, stop walking so close to each other. <laughs> Warner. I'm from the phone company. Cough up the damn quarter. I'm gonna go get mistaken for Peter Fonda. How'd he take it back then? Pretty good, considering she was his only child. No, hey, it was his daughter? I thought he just had some heartburn. Screw him! Definitely heard that! I'm grieving, not deaf! We got us all night! Honey, you ain't paying for all night now. Hey, She's his financial I planner, I assume? You ain't never gonna wanna leave. Now watch it now. <laughs> Nine months later, the guy from Harlem was born. Oh, oh so this is Florida? <laughs> sure, baby, no sweat. Oh, but I'm into sweat. At least sit on a balloon for me. <laughs> Wait, where were they gonna do it? Under the OSHA workplace poster? Don't the old cut the power trick. Hookers pull it all the time. Yeah, I, I've been told. <laughs> I paid my electricity bill. No, wait, I spent it on prostitutes. Woman? Please, it's a very disrespectful thing to call your whore. I, 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 well, if he discovers the corpse of a beloved relative, I hope he does more than kind of burp and whore like William Devane. You playing games with me? The only game I like is Settlers of Catan, but my friends call it a gateway game that's over-dependent on luck. Why didn't they tell me that before I learned all the dang rules? Come on now. My Viagra's kicking in. I'm missing my hump window. Airbud, seventh inning fan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can pick up her effects in my office. Can Spaghetti Man pick up a shovel? Because two forks don't seem wife. to be doing the trick. I'd love to. 
More than that guy loves spaghetti, understand? Mooney. I'm doing cop stuff, Mom. Just go to bed. You're embarrassing me. Uh, hey, where'd I leave my sputum cup? Well, how was it? It's good. It's good. Relax. Nobody could hear you over your holly hobby formal no, wear anyway. Fine. Kenny, we'll be right back. I read the news in a diaper. Oh, we know, Kenny. I know. I want you to. I want you to see it. You saw the girl? Diaper. So you can always go back to doing fashions in Beverly Hills. Just as many faces getting ripped off, but there it's done by plastic surgeons. Yeah, what can we do for you, Mrs. Dorenzi? Don't want to keep you from your cocktail party funeral? I'm here about the murder. (laughs) I'm your only hope of solving them. You can call me Flessica Jetcher. She she's the only one who can stop the killing. Now his tie is so wide, it's almost a bib. Which is good, because he looks like he needs one. Oh. Uh, put these with the rest of the trash. Yeah, right, like he's not going to fish that donut back out the second he's alone. If there's one group of people that fails to impress me, it's lawyers. If there's another group, it's people who believe in the secret. I think a high mass at St. Patrick's is a little overdoing it, don't you? I'm having her cremated. I'm going to smoke her to finish off my lungs. Avenge me. Wow, Shaggy became a pathologist? What I want to show you now is what we discovered underneath the fingernail of the first victim. Slide, please. It's toenail fungus. This is supernatural stuff, people. I don't want to get technical with you, gentlemen, but look, completely deranged. Also ponderous, man. Ponderous. Is that the only thing you find, uh... Uh, under the fingernail. Like, uh, did you find Whoville? Well, maybe it was something she ate, sir. If she ate that, we better find that restaurant and condemn it. Oh, leave Chipotle alone. Well, I think that you people could tell us whether or not he was black, or white, or yellow, or whatever. It's gray. And to think that guy is their director of diversity. <laughs> Zombie? He's probably a f- or a f- I don't or, a f- or maybe even a f- Sir, please. Those are slurs. I blame this on the. Honestly, Captain, you have to stop talking. Well, white female, black male. Black male. Oh, Captain, no. Black male is a terrible crime. It's usually committed by. No. No. Captain. Whether it was Warren people. (laughs) This guy makes the chief and samurai cop seem cuddly. Every night, this city will go out of its mind. Yeah, we can't be that ugly, right? Who could ever be? Uh, Oh Oh, oh, man! Never mind. We're hideous. All right, let's go. Hit the streets. And hey, let's be ugly out there. I don't like pressure. I don't like any of Billy Joel's songs, so I agree. You got it. Got it? I asked again in a different voice for extra emphasis. You should wear a sweater. My boss won't let us. He says it's bad for business. Are there profanities written on her sweater? (laughs) Almost eight. My dad says I shouldn't talk to strangers. Well, being a waitress was a really bad career choice then. That's smart. Tearing off heads and we keep talking about it. Hey, how long is this hallway? We have a lot of dialogue left. Um, I'm not going to be part of this one. Joe. Wow, so an actor can just bow out of a scene Uh, like that? That's great. Wish more would take advantage of that. Oh, now, come on. Look, Zoe... I had a very good teacher. Was it me? It was not you. Uh. Apologizing makes it worse. Also, rubbing my hand against your erection makes it even more worse. (laughs) You forgot. I'm a total asshat. (laughs) That's twice. Earlier, he took a dump in her car, too. Yep, he's hilarious. (laughs) Uh, It's the Kurgan. This old guy is the most annoying immortal ever. Okay, and there's another novel. I'm Stephen King. And how about a nice Hawaiian punch? <laughs> Would you just get to his table? Wow. <laughs> it's like the news hallway scene all over again. Thank you. For reminding me my daughter is dead. I have an old friend working on the case. Does he have to read every line like he's a serial Thank killer you, taunting a victim? Take care of yourself. Maybe I'll see you again, huh? Da, ja, stop threatening me. <laughs> oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. 12 gauge with double odd buck. Ted Nugent hands those out on Halloween instead of candy. And Tony follows me in the van. Then we switch. I'd say he's in the seedy part of town, but I think wherever this guy goes is the seedy part of town. Well, that was a fun night of drinking. Time to stumble back through this portal to Narnia. You can have my gun when you pry it from my cold, dead crotch. It's gotta suck to be killed by a monster so crappy the movie isn't even named after it. 
Well, now he'll never accomplish his dream of eating a pot roast in every state. Allison Hannigan in American Pie 22, Sexagenarian Antics. Think you might have scene transition disorder? Get tested today. Ah, Grandma Pennywise. He'll return soon. In the form of glue, but still. Who are you? Uh, now remember, boys, the body can go to the usual morgue, but the head's got to go to the special new head morgue downtown. <laughs> head morgue. <laughs> huh. I always assumed murder investigation involved, I don't know, moving around or something? No witness. Guys, mind if I practice my stand-up routine? Got this great bit about my ex-wife. You're gonna love it. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to ask for the National Guard. Well, a little martial law should calm things down. So, what are they protesting? Uh, just the 70s, I think. Oh, well, I can't blame them for that. Oh, hell no. Bring back Battlestar Galactica, you bastards! Thank you very much. And that's the story of today's demonstration. Anger, injustice, and filthy, filthy, filthy hippies. Keep it running. Sorry I didn't get your name, sir. This channel sucks. Hey, I've got a new slogan for you, TLC. Uh-oh, someone mixed Pop Rocks with soda. No. Her desperation to have an elevator to herself is definitely her most relatable characteristic. Oh, no. Five is the fifth loneliest number that I'll ever do. Oh, maybe the next floor will be less whispery. Could I interest you in a drink? Well, I left my mace at home and I gotta hit you in the face with something. Any special place you like to go? Satan talks to Mona tonight on Who's the Boss? Who's terrorizing nervous old ladies, making her twitch at all that she sees, swirling around and breaking her tchotchkes. Everyone knows it's Mangler. Bum, 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 bum. Nice music. You buy this record from the back room of a video store? Does Renze say anything else? Yes, she said, get to the point of this scene. What do you want? Me want Teddy Comb now! Teddy, what's wrong? Well, they're literally writing the script as you deliver your line, so that's a little wrong. I told you not to eat dry Captain Crunch, you idiot. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Our Wilson's leather outlet just walked in. Dial Pandora. That's that weirdo's phone number. Who is anyone in this film to call anyone else a weirdo? <laughs> oh, that was my place the one time I invited Tom Arnold to my dinner party. Hey, buddy. Sorry to make you homeless. <laughs> and yet, folks, somehow that was the most intelligible dialogue in the film so far. Can I call you a doctor? No. I am not a doctor. I saw it in a mirror. A horrible creature with red hair and a weird a mouth. Oh, wait. Hey. Oh, hey. Look, lady, would you please take the potatoes out of your mouth? Zombie crap. Or alien or whatever. Look, we'll fix it in post, okay? The ugly squad is back. The shark is known as an eating machine, correct? What we have is a killing machine. I'm pretty sure getting eaten by a shark also kills you. According to current medical science. And Karen Thompson from Decatur, Illinois. Speculation said we have a creature that identifies with nothing known on Earth. So That's basically perfect. Elon Musk then. Well, screw the mumbo jumbo and the demon talk, doctor. Look, what I've the alien talk or whatever. Senses. Look, we'll fix I it in post, okay? The... It's getting dark. Getting? <laughs> yeah, well then let's go. <laughs> Got her to come home with me and now I'm taking her out to the bar. Wait, damn it, I did this backwards again. <laughs> movie's so unrealistic. There's no way he got a parking spot that good at a bar in Los Angeles. Checking his watch, just like the rest of us. And they leave another bar. It's kind of like Roadhouse, if Roadhouse only showed people quietly entering and leaving the bar. Take it outside, and then inside another place, and then back outside. Ooh, a silent scene inside a bar. They're switching it up. Nice. Hey, I'm following you. How obvious do I need to be? Right behind you. Hello? Okay. Look, you bitch, give me the car keys. Worst part, this is their just married car. Oh. Watch your car keys. Get out, you bitch. Bill, what's your favorite movie written and directed by Jordan Peele? Get out, you bitch. Thanks, Bill. No problem, you bitch. Sounds like a million others to me. My review of Taylor Swift. <laughs> Randy. Sorry, just thinking about my favorite macho man. Oh no, it's turning into a traffic safety short. 
Come on, let's follow him in my Corvette. I know it's a Corvette. You don't have to keep mentioning it's a Corvette. It's a Corvette. Oh, God. Oh, old country songs made drunk driving sound so much more fun. What if you're going to wreck a beautiful old car like that in your movie? Maybe turn on some lights first? Damn it, Sauron. We told you we don't have the one ring. Now buzz off. Sorita? It's all just a weird marketing campaign for a new Taco Bell product. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, if only she'd made better choices as a reporter and befriended the Ninja Turtles, she wouldn't be in this situation right now. <laughs> Weird slow fart, sorry. The police are stunned to get a call to an old abandoned building that doesn't involve Nick Nolte. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Johnny Law. There he is. We just saw it bust through a wall, so let's hide behind this wall. Well, I hope they brought the right kind of ammo to fight vaguely supernatural. There goes the conjoined twin Chewbacca's family hid from the world, separated and chained up in the basement. Um, Mike, his name is Dumpy? <laughs> oh, right. Ooh, Michael Jetson's thriller got Cyclops powers. Oh, cops we don't know versus a creature we've barely seen. That's what I call drama. Gotta look at the gun. Let everybody know it's the gun's fault. Oh, Linda Blair. Oh. Hey, buddy, it would have been nice if you'd used your laser eyes earlier to light the damn movie. Ah, so the sci-fi alien is also Frankenstein's monster? Oh, fire and eternal story logic. Bad. Wait, what? That was so easy! 20 dead cops and all they needed was a match. This is almost as embarrassing as when his friends, the aliens from Signs, came to a planet that's 70% water. Ow, our bad. Please tell my wife that the creature who killed me didn't die in a hilarious fog cloud. He just remembered being in the woods with a shirtless, screaming Leslie Nielsen and Day of the Animals. It haunts him. It haunts him so much. And from this day forward, only those who walk forever in darkness will have nothing to fear in the dark. Do so, so we should all become blind? That's the movie's advice? Well, they could have told us that an hour and 20 minutes ago. <laughs>